Okay, now the third project is SS Management Group. It is an SS Management Group application and designed to manage assets easily within an organization. It will save time to manage all the assets in organization. So interns, can you all proceed with your presentation? Thank you. Good, good evening, everyone. My name is Chirag Zindal, and my team members are Preksha and Anjana. So our project is asset management. So first, I'll go with the motivation. So you may be knowing that several asset management softwares are present in the market, but we found that all are limited in certain types, like media asset management limited to managing only media items, or software asset management only related to softwares. So, and also they provide the fixed layout, and we are bound to use their layouts. We are bound to go with their flow only. So, so users have no choice of his or her. So we found that there is a need to need to develop a generalized application which can be used for any type of uh, any type of domain which can be used in any type of domain for any type of asset and uh, also providing some administrative features extra features for more flexibility so we go with the asset management so first what is asset management it's a systematic process of deploying operating maintaining upgrading and disposing of assets so as i mentioned Software asset management, IT asset management, they are fixed to particular type of commodity. So, but our application is fully built on dynamic environment. So we can add our own dynamically generated templates. We can define our own fields according to our requirements. And as the time goes, if we want, we can edit them also and include more features. So let me list some features of our application. We have, as I mentioned, user-defined commodities, no fixed commodity, user-defined templates, all built on dynamic environment, so can be changed later, can, can be defined only a whole on the user's wish. Link between multiple commodities. This was a feature many applications don't provide. Like uh, we, want, we have two commodities, for example, printers and cartridges. So there's a need to link the two commodities so that we can know which printer is using which all cartridges for how much period to know their performances, etc. Add to stock, these are the general deployment features like uh, adding, this, adding items to our stock, allocating, the, allocating from the stock for a certain period to a certain user, to a certain group, transfer and block items. This was also, I found that many applications don't provide. We can transfer the items between different categories according to our need and according to the need of the organization and block items. Many organizations feel that uh, items need to be blocked for a certain period for all the organization, for all the users, or for particular user, or for particular group of users. Barcode generation. This is the need of the time that uh, now we are using everything, including bar uh, everything with barcode. So we have integrated barcode also in our application. So each item would be having a unique barcode generated with it. Dynamic report. Uh, if you see, the other products provide the fixed reports, which you go, we see the reports, but our application provides a dynamic report, so you can specify on which uh, grounds you want the report to be generated, etc. Print or export, yeah, all the reports can be printed and exported to PDF format or CSV format, according to the need. Dynamic implementation of file management. Uh, we have implemented a whole catalog of file management in the dynamic environment to test our application. View, delete, update features, general features, and many more features are uh, which we, I'll be showing in the demo. So this is the video demo I'll be showing you. So as you can see, this is the home page of our application. You can see a dashboard listing all the stats of our application, number of commodities, number of assets, number of items available on loan, below threshold, allocated, etc. You can see that I am logged in. Uh, you can see the organization specified, IIT Bombay. So the application is based on organization specific. So one organization is using it, other organization will be use, differently using it. So there will be no link in here. We are using the same database, but all the things will be different for each organization. You can see different menus. You, uh, the visible now is the commodities menu. We have some certain commodities like monitor, consumables, printer, and the subcategories with these commodities like category one. 
So as I proceed, you can see different commodities. These are the administrative features, location, adding a location to a asset, suppliers, manufacturers, commodities, list of categories, list of users, create new users, groups, departments, organization, and statuses. So these are the different administrative features we provide in our application to be used with the commodities. So these are the different, now the settings. So the settings tab specifies paper type to specify the paper. The en entire application is user specific. So he want A4, A3 or any custom size so we he can provide. Print labels for his items, set the stock name, barcode as I specified, link commodity which I specified. Next is a report. We have, we have provided three types of report. Full report on the basis of the fields. User report to check the performance of the users over a period of time on a certain commodities, on certain assets, etc. And the location report. This was very necessary that to check on which location how many items are there. So we can have a location report. And these are the file menus. Dynamically generated file catalog entirely built on dynamic environment. So I start with the application. I choose on commodities. So you can see the list of the so this is the co create commodity page. We'll be creating a new commodity. So we'll specify the name of the commodity, description, and the categories. So this is a multi-select category box. You can see a plus button near to it. If you feel that the category you want for your commodity is not in a, is not listed here you can click on this plus button and add it dynamically to the environment and it would be listed in the list so no need to go to the category page specifically and add there and then come back to here here only you can click on the plus button a pop up will appear you can add the category for your application so submit so this window provides you three options use existing template create new template and modify existing template use existing template. We have provided some static templates in the environment. So you can use our own templates which we have provided. Or if you want that your commodity is not uh, satisfied with, with these templates, you can build your own template for your commodity which are dynamically built, specify your own fields, specify your own limits, etc. or modify them over the period of time. So I'll go with the create new templates. So this is the template library, consumable monitor, these are the templates we have, static templates we have provided. So you can show, click on show button and preview the template. You can preview all the templates. If you, if you find this template appropriate for your commodity, you can choose it. We'll click on choose. And so now the create consumable page opens. So now you can create a consumable for, so I'll go to manage consumable. And these are the consumable library list of consumables are listed pan mobile wires etc other details images so i'll explain each feature listed here so add consumable i go to consumable page i'll provide the def uh, so as a consumable i am adding keyboard i am adding keyboard specifying the category on each field you can see a plus button performing the same action if you want that location technical in charge manufacturer is not what you want so you don't need to go to the specific page for adding it. You can click on plus button, a pop-up will appear on this page only, add it and it will be dynamically added to your list. So no need to go to that page, you can add it from here only. So other features. So this is the keyboard created under the consumables and the list, you can see in the red line that no commodity is currently linked to this keyboard. So. Keyboard is added to our library. Uh, now you can see currently this specific, this row specify this column specify the available quantity in us like um, namespace. Okay, does like a namespace this keyboard name? Okay, how unique is it? Is it unique across the organization? It's unique across your Pura application across the organization. Across one organization, another organization will have keyword separately. Yeah. Uh, within an organization, I want two departments having different keyboards. Is that possible? Yes, sir. In the consumable page, I sorry, we have uh, while creating a user, we'll add a 
department to it in the user page correct so and that user will be logged in so each consumable created under that user will go to that department i know but you have defined a commodity called keyboard right yeah. you are tracking it yes now if a different department okay wants to have a commodity key, his own keyboard how will you do it how do you have to call it by keyboard too yes sir now we are not specifying the we are not going with the department specific pages we are going with the organization so this is it complete it bombay library Uh, th th that's okay, but my keyboard for for uh, computer science department is different from electrical keyboard. Then what will you do? Because uh, physically different or the make no characteristic different. I may want more fields. Y yes, you can. Uh, yes, you can define your th this. This we are. I can define my own commodity, yeah. right? But if, if both two departments commodity wants the same name, can that can that happen? No. No. The name is unique across the or organization. What about uh, username? Username is for our department. While creating a user, we specify the department. So across the department, no, I'm talking username. Yeah, across the department, username can be same. Across the department. Across an organization, it is unique, or it need not be unique. Unique. Across what organization? Or across your software? Organization. Sir, actually, first. No, because what you said was that the each. Okay, so your application, even though there is one centralized database, there is one centralized database, right? Each organization doesn't have its own copy of your no, software. No. Okay, so if I deploy it, the whole of India will be inside your database. Yes. Yes. That is, that is. Sir, first only we are logged in with IT Bombay. So the now the database you are seeing is of IT Bombay. The same application, same database can be used for the. I'll be. Logged in with IT Delhi, so I can use it with IT Delhi only. No, logged into a no no a user logs in right. User log whenever log user logins so users is when user is created he specify which organization is belong to, and at the time of login if it specify organization that, come department. Yeah, if if it log in like uh, if a uh, admin is then. I'm just I'm just trying to know how flexible your software is. Can I become organization department comma building? Organization and password. Three, uh, Correct. Uh. Okay, but no, right now you said the user belongs to a department. No, filter, uh, the data you are seeing is belonging to your your organization. Filter according to your organization. The user doesn't belong to a department. We can okay. group according to the department. department. At the time of creation of the user, we can specify that this user belongs to this department. A department can have multiple right. users. We can filter okay. according to the department. Can I have a sub sub department? Groups. We call it groups. No, but you use the word department. I am looking at keywords. Is the department fixed? Department keyword fixed? Do I see it anywhere in your this thing? Department. Can can if the army uses it, army does not have departments, right? Okay. Battalion. battalion. Can the army call it battalion? Yeah, it can specify the department name as battalion. Not department name as battalion. Correct. So, uh, uh, okay. So, any organization, if I break it up into pieces, I can name my pieces. Yeah. Correct. Now, the breaking up hierarchy. Does is there a limit to the number of hierarchy levels I have, or it can be infinite? Infinite, sir. If there is a complete tree. You can define under this. It's a tree. It's, it's, a, it's a tree. Preview. All right. You have got a demo in this. Yes, yeah, sir. Well, whether you are going to show the uh, tree and. Uh, I'll show the in the demo. I'll show in the demo. That's okay. Can move the just drag and drop. No, no, it, it's an interesting concept. I'll show you, sir. The tree view, I'll show you. No, no. <laughs> you are making me uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> okay, because it's, it's a very interesting concept. I'm just saying where it will break. Okay. I can't actually pinpoint where it will break. So much flexibility building in. Can it be done? Is, is my. Discomfort. Huh? You may be used. I'm. I'm not saying it can't be done. Okay. I'm uncomfortable whether you will 
actually get into some sort of a conflict. So, see, let me tell you where my discomfort is. So much flexibility, I am not sure whether you will get into a conflict somewhere. So you can see that for adding locations, we are as location are infinite. So, can I merge groups? Merge in the sense? You can create a bigger group and choose. Yeah, you can create a group and you can. That also as these are, okay. this we are using I know, I know. location. As Correct. Location. So, what I am trying to recollect and I can't break it immediately. So, that, that is what worries me. Normally, I can break things immediately. <laughs> Okay. But for such look. flexibility, they must, there must be some conflict in some operation which you have not thought about. Okay. See, the, now these things are available, you can change the hierarchy also. You can move here to there and physically it will be automatically. So see, yeah, yeah, correct, correct, correct. I agree. When you move things, yes, show, okay, move, since you are giving me flexibility of naming, duplicate names and duplicate these things, will that, will that cause a problem is what I am thinking. Database is not so solved problem. We have specified the perfect validations rule. No, no. I am saying there is some operations, okay, like merging, etc. It could, could be a delete. I can't, that's why I said I can't break it immediately. But some operations on a flexible system, okay, may result in a conflict. That is my personal uh, bad feeling about it. So what okay. he is saying that you have to do the proper testing. Yeah. After deployment only. If there may be a conflict. It is almost very difficult to do that because yes. anybody could have defined anything. Because the multiple levels also. Loosely bound design. Completely Correct. Loosely bound design. That is what makes me open a little bit uncomfortable, but so yes. far at least I do not see. I have location. See this thing. A we are using a tree for a location. As location are in infinite, with under our building, we have sub -depart department, sub department, room, keyboard, uh, cupboard, drawer. For, for, like we have main building, GG building. Under GG building, we have CD department right now. So, if I want that convocation hall comes under CDU department. Okay, now I'll talk. Yes, so yes, groups yes. can be merged. Yeah. Okay. Location, does it belong to a department? Location? Belongs to a group. No. Why? Yeah, what is this CS department yes, owns this building here. No, location sir, cannot this, belong this to a department. Location we are using for the assets. While adding an asset, while specifying the asset, we need to specify it. So, asset the is a building, no? It is a consumer. No, no, no. This building is an asset or no? You can put building yeah. also uh, asset, yeah. but you have to find it is a building. But then it is no longer a location. Is that it? No, but where so, is the the to the There is a building, it is an asset. Yeah, if we want and this table is inside the building. Yes. So yes. this table is a item. Yes. Whose, his location, can it be Crescent building and Crescent building being an asset? So, for this location, we have specified that location can be in type groups. Location is general. We, we you specify the location map for the entire organization. How many locations are there under which organization you have, under which location you have, which uh, sub location, and you use it for your asset. So you think location is a building or location is a city or? Location. Location, basically location is a place where these assets are located. So, so, if you have got a camera available, it is into the ground floor of the crescent building, room number this, this, cupboard number this, this and the, the shelf number this, this. Now, now, this location itself is an asset for a department. No, uh, actually the asset is a very general purpose terminology they have used. Basically, this is for the consumables or the things. Not asset meaning thereby the building, car or kind of not thing. Not those assets. Asset means this uh, in this consumables or the some uh, equipments or some kind of thing. Since you are allowing me to do everything. Everything, right. Okay. So, in, in that case, how you have to manage the crescent building is an asset, then the location is a GPS location. No, no, I'll tell you. Okay, for example. If you understand the data structure, then you will understand what they are. No, no. This, this particular location may be called crescent by somebody. Somebody from other department will call it by some other name. Okay. Then you will not be able to recognize that. When I merge them, what are you going to do? Okay, it's no, not two locations. Understand? Where, where I'm saying your flexibility might cause a problem is this. Okay. At least I have found one possible problem. Okay. When you said location. We'll work on it. So as you can see, the location trees. So, no, no. I. It is possible to build such a system. I, I, I not, I not thought about building such flexibility, but it's possible. There's nothing wrong with it. 
So as you can see, this is the location tree. We can, I can dynamically drag and drop things to uh, create categories, subcategories. So now, GG buildings, uh, CDIP comes under GG building and convocation. Sorry, convocation all comes under CDIP building. So the tree can be created any long. Uh, or if you want a root to be created, there's a create root button. So it will generate a name. This is a create location. So at the root level, it will be created. And using the drag and drop feature, I can add it to any other location or under any other location also. Or I can specify another root location also. So th this is how the tree structure goes. And I can extend it to anything, groups, uh, departments, organization, anything. Right now, we have implemented for locations. So you're maintaining multiple trees? Yeah. No, this is only one tree. Good. Inside your organization, there has got to be multiple trees. If you are allowing a root definition and the root definition is different, I can have different roots. That means I can have multiple trees. No, sir. It's, it's like uh, one root and multiple nodes. Nodes. On one root. You can have but he said I can create a root. Not on the root, he can create a node. So the first level. Is create root is there. So this level comes, uh, these things, main building, GG and academic area comes under the one level. Level one, you can say. I am talking about the create root over there on the top. Yeah, it will come under the level one. <coughs> create root, uh, above create root, above this level, nothing can come. We have a central organization, under we have... Uh, generally, it is only one tree and generally, uh, create root is never given because the root is not known to anybody, root is just a system root. Root is like a location above which any, any other location won't come. Correct, so, so it is single one. root generally in a system. When you say multiple roots, I, I get a little bit worried. Uh, create root is never root there. Is create is uh, created when the yeah. software comes in. So okay. I will go with the video. Oh. Okay. okay, go ahead with your features. Yeah. So as you can see, the keyboard I added, it is currently out of stock as we haven't added anything to, to our repository. So we have some six features here. Transfer item, block, block for user, add to stock, allocate, view allocate history. Allocate button is currently inactive because we don't have anything in the stock. So we. So this is our asset, keyboard, item. Yeah, sir. I'll add. So currently. No, can I change the name of add to stock? Add to stock. So these are this is the. Hard You're not flexible. So these are the options. The hard coded options. So. Yeah, what what is that song? Yeah, Bengali me kehte hai ki something something something. Why can't I change this? I want to name it something else. Badao. Badao, na? That's another thing is how can I add an option? Add an? Add an option. Yeah, sir. So in the dynamic environment, now this is the static template. So while using a dynamic template, we'll specify our own options. And uh, we'll specify the forms for that option. Right, uh, L for add to stock, we have given a form. This is the add to stock form where the item is specified keyboard and I'll specifying the PO number, unit cost, quantity, how much quantity I have to add to the stock. Okay. So right now I'll specify that, I'll specify the no, unit. No, no, but this, this is still a hard coded form. Okay, this, what this I'm is saying is can form. I add an action? Can I add to your menu? Yeah, I, you can add. How? Using dyna option, dy dynamic. Dynamic? Just finish this. Yes, I'll finish. So I have added a five quantity in this. So I'll specify the general other fields. So submit. So as you can see, the five uh, keyboards are added to our stock. Now we'll now I'll go with the allocate to some particular user. No, or don't go. She's going. Okay. <laughs> no, we understand if you add and you allocate, it decreases. Yeah. That's so this is the allocate button. You allocate to whom? Yeah, I was to show that. So at the allocate, but uh, oh, interesting. You allocate to user. So this is the allocate. Page. The user is attached to a location. Yes, sir. The, in the user, we have the different things. So does I, the user have a location? Yeah, user has a location. Yes. Because now once I take this keyboard, this thing, and I give it to him, he sits in a different building. The location should change, no? Of the asset. So we can go afterwards, we can update the our forms, no? 
uh, at the time of uh, adding this asset in uh, into the no no uh, asset has got ownership and asset has got location yes now the owner and location are also tied yeah or no not tied so I have to do it twice. Location track I have to update again. Yeah. Okay, track. all right. So we have three options in allocate. The we can allocate. So if you forget to do that, this location ka count me dusra a jayega or owner ke count me udha jayega. Location is a physical location. Physical location. Where the asset it's is present. It's actually right. inventory management system. It's an inventory management system which is completely flexible and I have not heard about it, about the concept. So I am just worried what is the thing why people have not built it. Like I asked for that MTech presentation, why have they not done it? That's the first question you have to see if you do something strange, why it has not been done before. Chalo wind up, karo. Wind up karo. I understand what it is and all of them have understood so, what it is. So uh, last uh, I will tell you the different field buttons we have. We have a bar. Don't, don't, don't. That's okay. okay, okay. You've done enough damage. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>